With the power of thought, the world's first bionic fingers open, close and bend to pick up the most delicate objects without crushing them. Tiny motors in each digit mimic the movement of a real hand, allowing patients to carry out everyday tasks. Eric Jones lost his fingers after contracting a serious infection three years ago. A custom-made set of digits has transformed his life. When you lose your hand, you figure out ways to do everyday chores without it. I learned to write with my left hand. Uh, I learned to eat with my left hand. But with the touch bionics uh, bionic hand on the right side, I can do things a lot faster than uh, I, with nothing. The ProDigits device was designed by scientists in Scotland. The company Touch Bionics already sells a complete hand, but the bionic fingers are far more complex and give patients missing just part of their hand a robotic solution to their handicap for the first time. The device picks up electrical signals in the muscles that would have moved real fingers and articulates the bionic digits instead. People have been able to go back to doing their uh, working with their horses, go back to their everyday lives, look after their children, uh, and go back to their vocational work, which of course is very important. To go, to go back to work, to be able to re-engage with society is a very, very much part of the rehabilitation of these, of these very, very talented and very important people. 1.2 million people around the world are missing part of their hand, but at a cost of around £40,000, the bionic fingers are likely to be beyond the reach of most. Thomas Moore, Sky News.